All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, happy Friday. Friday for a lot of people. Probably about everyone. But try to catch up on some videos. Like I said, I'm in some of the other videos, I'm trying to just make a lot of short videos. Introducing everybody to my entire collection, one car at a time. There's about 30-something cars. Uh, and then we'll actually get into working on them, fixing them up some more uh, from what they already are. And I'll go into a lot more depth uh, with the videos, uh, some running videos. Uh, so we'll get uh, we'll get them out, play with them. There's some that I don't get out that uh, pretty much just self queens. This one is actually one of them. This one uh, this one does not go outside, which is probably going to make some of you upset considering some of the equipment that you're just going to see inside of it. So yeah, it is kind of a shame. But uh, you know, even shelf queens deserve nice stuff. So, yeah. Uh, let me go around the exterior with this one first. Um, I posted a video of this one about a year ago with the light kit that was in it. The light kit that's in this one is a combination of the Traxxas light kit and the uh, CyRC light kit. The CyRC light kit pretty much offers all the programming. Uh, if you want more details on that, Go watch that video. It's the only other video in this playlist uh, for this Blazer. But uh, pretty much allows you to control everything through the steering on the controller itself, which is really nice. But to me, some of the bulbs just wasn't, some of the LEDs were not bright enough. It didn't seem like it was getting enough power. So I kind of splice some of the LEDs here and there. So it's kind of a Frankenstein, which you'll see when I take the body off here in a minute. Uh, not any really exterior changes other than the tag if I can get in there I'm not going to be able to get in there without a glare anyway it's just got credits on it my name uh, this is the RC four wheel drive right I bought this one uh, and then I seen that I believe uh, Gosh, what's that company called out of China that's actually doing them for like 14 bucks that are just as good? So I need to actually stock up on uh, Injora. I saw that Injora was making these for like 14 bucks instead of like 50 like this one was because it's got the uh, RC four wheel drive logo on it. So, yes, when you buy stuff from them, it comes from the same place as Injora. Uh, just a lot fancier logo. But anyway, either here nor there. 3D printed milk crates that I still need to find. But, sorry. I accidentally hit the camera. Um, and I wanted to this to be a very stock looking blazer. So, and of course the Traxxas, the factory Traxxas tires are anything but stock looking. Uh, actually, here's the factory wheels and tires that came on the blazer when you buy it. When you buy the Traxxas model, not the real Blazer. Uh, that was just too much. I didn't. That was not a very stock look at all for me. So I didn't like it. Um, so I got these. I ordered another set of the stock wheels that came on the Blazer. And then ordered some of the RC full drive uh, Falcons. See if I can get close enough here. Oh gosh, I need a better camera, don't I? Don't think I'm going to be able to get a good, uh, let me move these milk crates. Having to operate through a camera here. I'll put this camera down here in a second, guys, when I get this body off. Alright, here we go. Oh, let's see. This is, uh, Wild Peak HT's. And yes, these are from RC Full Drive. These are a very stock looking tire. That looks more like what the Blazer would have originally come with from GM. Uh, and to be honest, I really like the looks of these tires on this truck. It's a very good match. Nothing else has been changed from the outside. Just pretty much added that back rack, a tag, and the tires. Bought some new wheels and threw the tires. And the tires aren't even glued. They're just on there. Like I said, this is a self shelf queen. So it doesn't really drive. Uh, and then I added the metal tag with it. 
But uh, let's put... Ooh, that light up there is just about too much, isn't it? Let's put that up. And let's get the body off. First, let me show you kind of what's going on with these lights, which is a lot. As you can see, there is a lot of splicing that went on right here between the CyRC and the Traxxas kit. I added pretty much the best of both worlds and uh, got a really good system out of it. Really, really bright, bright, bright. Uh, you guys can go watch the other video that I have that's just about the lights to actually see them uh, working. But needless to say, they do control through the... You can control them through the stock Traxxas controller. All you gotta do is uh, turn the turn the wheel certain ways, a uh, certain amount of times, and it does all the programming for you. But yeah, that is a uh, that is a mess in wiring. But other than that, just uh, pretty much run the wires the same way. I actually have some parts ordered coming for this. The full interior. And everything is actually on the way for this. It's just taking a while to get here. So when that gets here, I'll actually make another video uh, of installing that. All right. This is Hobbywing XC Run FOC system. This is the 540, not the 550, the 540. The 550 will fit in here just fine. Uh, 540 is just what I had at the time. Pretty much nothing else has been changed other than a lot of wires. Um, it does have the RC Meta extended midsection. If you want to go to uh, rcmeta.com and buy that, it's just the midsection. Now this does take away from the uh, waterproofing of the electrics box, but uh, rcmeta.com does have the tops and the bottom sections if you want to depending on how you want to do it however you want your truck to look and it does keep the uh, waterproofing um, also has the grill mount for the fan which I actually have hooked up to the light system so I can control it with the steering of the controller these fan brackets are also on rcmeta.com These hobby wing axe systems are absolutely bonkers. Um, there's really, honestly, nothing wrong uh, for me anyway. There's I've never had any issues with the Traxxas brush kits, uh, 550 brush kits. Never had an issue. Never had any of them go out. Uh, no matter how I've treated them with some of my other TRXs. But uh, like I said, this is kind of a show car shelf queen so i kind of wanted the best of everything when it comes to electronics still hadn't changed out the servo the mini servos yet so i put the the axe at the time the horizon spectrum system wasn't out yet the crawler system wasn't out yet so this was the only option when i had actually put this one in uh actually i do have another servo okay it's just the regular eco power servo this is their top end one the wp uh 120t i think those are like 80 bucks but you're not going to beat those things. Absolutely not going to beat those things. The The stats that those things run are absolutely insane. But yeah, guys, it's just a basic, uh, pretty basic. Nothing fancy going on. Yeah, anyway, I do have a lot of parts coming. Like I said, the full interior and some more stuff. But this is pretty much just a shelf queen. Throw a battery in it. Uh, show off a little bit. That's it. But uh, alright, guys. Uh, thanks for joining. This is the, I believe, the second video of the Blazer series. So, uh, hopefully more to come pretty soon, guys. Thanks.